Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is a continuation of the Ezekiel series, chapter 10. Boy, I'll tell you what, there's a whole bunch of stuff here on God's throne. Uh, to see more on God's throne, I guess you'd need to go to Revelation chapters, oh, I think 20, 21, and 22. Maybe 21, 22, I'm not sure about 20. But uh, there's a lot of stuff here. So let's take a look. Verse 1. Then I looked and behold, in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubims, there appeared over, over them, as it were, a sapphire stone, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne. Oh, yeah. A throne. The throne of God. Now, what's up with sapphire? Well, first time it appears is in Exodus 24.10. And they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of a sapphire stone, and as it were, the body of heaven in his clearness. And then you got Exodus 28.18 when they're talking about the uh, breastplate that the uh, high priest would wear. In the second row, there would be an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. So, uh, let's see. There's also a reference to sapphires. Um... Uh, in Ezekiel 28, and um, that is describing Satan. Let's read verse 13. We're going to go to look at Ezekiel 28 more in depth in a little bit. But Ezekiel 28, 13, it says, Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. And some people want you to think, oh, well, this is the king of Tyrus. Uh, when was the king of Tyrus ever in Eden? Satan was in Eden. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the sapphire, the emerald and the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in, the, in thee in the day that thou wast created. What human king is, was created? The only, um, the only human that was ever created was Adam. Adam was formed of the dust of the earth. He was not born. He's the only one. Now, Jesus had a body created for him, but he was not a created being. So, you know, when people try to tell you, Ezekiel 28 is talking about the king of Tyrus. Uh, the king of Tyrus was never in Eden, and he was not created. So, all right, uh, where else is Sapphire mentioned? Uh, Revelation 21, verse 19. And the foundation, foundations of the wall of the city, holy Jerusalem, new Jerusalem, were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second, sapphire, the third, a chalcedy, the fourth, an emerald, the fifth, sardonyx, the sixth, sardius, the seventh, chrysolite, the eighth, beryl, the ninth, topaz, the tenth, a chrysophilus, the eleventh, a jacinth, the twelfth, an amethyst. 
So we're talking, you know, these gemstones have a purpose in the plan of God. So, back to Ezekiel 10, verse 1. So, as it were a sapphire stone, as the appearance of the likeness of a throne. So these stones are uh, part of the breastplate of the high priest, which obviously represents God's kingdom, and the New Jerusalem. You know, you could probably make an entire study on the gemstones, but I haven't really looked into it. So maybe some other people have done studies on that. I don't know. Verse 2. And he spake unto the man clothed with linen and said, Go in between the wheels, even under the cherub, and fill thine hand with coals of fire. Coals of fire from between the cherubims and scatter them over the city. And he went in, in my sight. Now, where do we read about coals of fire? Well, let's read Ezekiel 28 again. Let's go to verse 11. I mean, I'm going to do an entire commentary, God willing, on Ezekiel 28. We'll see what happens. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised I'm still on YouTube. God's hand must be on it because I've had so many videos removed and strikes. So, whatever. I'm going to go to World Truth videos. So, if you look on my community page, um, I got some interesting stuff on there. You know, community page, take a look around. Got some good stuff on there. And uh, I'll be going to World Truth Video if they delete me here. I think. All right, verse 11. Ezekiel 28, verse 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation unto the king of Tyrus. Uh, there's people who want you to think that's an earthly king. Uh, the king of Tyrus, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. Verse 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created, not born. Thou art the anointed cherub. What's a cherub? It's, a, it's an angel. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Covereth what? God's throne. Do you know that uh, the mercy seat where the two cherubs were the wings were facing each other, you know, Indiana Jones, the Ark of the Covenant. I think one of those was Satan before he fell, of course. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Covereth what? The mercy seat, the, the throne of God. That's what he covered. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Isn't that what we just read in Ezekiel 10? Ezekiel was told to take some fire from the wheels. Oh, yeah. So he was walking up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created, not born. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created 
till iniquity was found in thee. What's iniquity? Sin, evil, wickedness. Satan was created good. And for some reason, he didn't want to serve God in heaven. So he decided he wanted to fill that position. But sorry, that position's already been filled. Sorry. Let's go back to Ezekiel 10. Yeah, it kills me when people tell you, oh, well, Ezekiel 28 is, it's talking about the king of Tyrus. Like an earthly man was, uh, you know, walking up and down in the stones of fire and was created and was in Eden. You know, uh, come on, people. You know, there's, I, I, don't, I don't know if these people are absolutely just parroting what, they learn from some lying Bible teacher or if they're actually deceivers. I, you know, I don't know. And it doesn't matter what you show them. Bible doesn't mean nothing to them. All right, verse 2. Uh, Ezekiel 10, verse 2. And he spake unto the man clothed with linen and said, Go in between the wheels, even under the cherub, and fill thine hand with coals of fire, coals of fire from between the cherubims, and scatter them over the city. And he went in in my sight. Verse 3. Now the cherubims stood on the right side of the house when the man went in, and the cloud filled the inner court. Then the glory of the Lord went up from the cherub and stood over the threshold of the house. And the house was filled with the cloud, and the court was full of the brightness of the Lord's glory. And the sound of the cherubim's wings was heard even to the outer court as the voice of the Almighty God when he speaketh. And it came to pass that when he had commanded the man clothed with linen, saying, Take fire from between the wheels, from between the cherubims. Then he went in and stood beside the wheels. And one cherub stretched forth his hand from between the cherubims unto the fire that was between the cherubims and took thereof and put it into the hands of him that was clothed with linen, who took it and went out. And there appeared in the cherubims the form of a man's hand under their wings. And when I looked, behold, the four wheels by the cherubims, one wheel by one cherub and another wheel by another cherub, and the appearance of the wheels was as the color of a barrel stone. And as for their appearance, they four had one likeness, as if a wheel had been in the midst of a wheel. When they went, they went upon their four sides. They turned not as they went, but to the place whither the head looked, they followed it. They turned not as they went. And their whole body and their backs and their hands and their wings and the wheels were full of eyes round about, even the wheels that they four had. As for the wheels... It was cried unto them in my hearing, O wheel. And every one had four faces. The first face was the face of a cherub, and the second face was the face of a man, and the third the face of a lion, and the fourth the face of an eagle. And the cherubims were lifted up. This is the living creature that I saw by the river of Chebar. Now, we covered that in um, Ezekiel chapter 1, right? Right. And when the cherubims went, the wheels went by them. And when the cherubims lifted up their wings to mount up from the earth, the same wheels also turned not from beside them. When they stood, these stood. And when they were lifted up, these lifted up themselves also for the spirit of the living creature was in them. 
Then the glory of the Lord departed from off the threshold of the house and stood over the cherubims. And the cherubims lifted up their wings and mounted up from the earth in my sight. When they went out, the wheels also were beside them, and everyone stood at the door of the east gate of the Lord's house, and the glory of the God of Israel was over them above. This is the living creature that I saw under the God of Israel by the river of Chebar, and I knew that they were cherubims. And every one had four faces apiece, and every one four wings, and the likeness of the hands of a man was under their wings, and the likeness of their faces was the same faces which I saw by the river of Chebar. Their appearances in themselves, they went every one straight forward. And that, everybody, is the end of Ezekiel chapter 10. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.